So this is a big deal in Belgium. Well, the, the gimmick, it's not a gimmick with a German flag, it's, uh, it makes headlines in uh, Belgian newspapers and in websites, so uh, people are talking about it. What about the matter of meeting the Prime Minister? Was that in the schedule and then it was scrubbed, or what do you no, know about No, it was not that? in the in the. In it was the never shadow. in the schedule. No, it was not in the shadow. But um, our king, he paid already six state visits to other countries, and every time he met the Prime Minister, this time, Trudeau hasn't have time or he has other um, activities, so he has no time for our king. So it's a little bit strange. But the prime minister is not the head of state in Canada. That's the queen. She's represented by the governor general. Oh, good old Terry Malevsky making excuses for Justin Trudeau being out of town. Uh, he was actually on vacation spring break because he needed to relax after his uh, he was going to go on vacation. He canceled it, but has not yet met uh, the royal family. Um, and of course, you heard it there that Canada rolled out the flag, but instead of the Belgian flag, Canada chose the German flag. And you don't have to be a diplomat to know that's a German flag. You just have to vaguely be aware of things, maybe even sports. What a series of gaffes. Joining us now via Skype is our friend Lauren Gunter, senior columnist for the Edmonton Sun. These guys were supposed to be suave, not like that reckless cowboy Stephen Harper. They can't shoot straight when it comes to diplomacy and foreign affairs, can they, Lauren? No, because they're arrogant uh, and naive at the same time. It's a very bad combination, arrogance and naivete. Uh, they're arrogant in the, in, the, uh, in the sense that they believe they're the anointed ones, the enlightened ones, that they're so much more sophisticated than, the, than Harper and the Tories. And, and they're naive in the sense that they believe whatever they say will just happen. That there's, you don't have to do any background work. You don't have to, to get your details right. They're so sophisticated and suave and debonair that merely utterances from their mouths uh, make things happen. And so it, it, it's a bad combination. Uh, and, you know, this, this flag flap. Is is kind of minor yeah. uh, in in most sense. I mean, it was these two little flags, like the ones that you know a hundred thousand people get at a state yeah. parade, yeah. Um, attached to a tree where the king and queen of Belgium were going to come with the governor general to plant a new tree because right. the first tree to which the flags were attached had been planted uh, four decades ago by the then queen of Belgium. But the point is, it's not that this is minor, not that the Belgian government said, ah, don't worry about it. It was taken care of. A journalist noticed the error. You switched the flags, which look very similar. Uh, uh, you switched the flags before the royal couple got there. No big deal. That's not the point. Can you imagine what Terry Malefsky would be saying mm -hmm. if this had happened under Harper or, or Harper's governor generals, uh, including David Johnson? I mean, he, oh, Oh, they've embarrassed us. Yeah. An internet. How can we ever recover yeah. from the shame of this? Yeah. Uh, but but Trudeau does this, and it's oh, no big deal. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day, and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.